So you're with women's soccer head coach Barry Bimby as the Ramblers prepare for another busy weekend of games. Uh, coach, Friday night, Western Michigan, uh, as you mentioned, post game on Sunday after Arizona State NCAA tournament team that knocked off Marquette last season. What are you guys looking to do in that uh, first game of the weekend on Friday? Yeah, it's definitely a challenge for our girls. Uh, coach Norman's done a great job since he's taken over there, uh, winning the MAC uh, tournament last year, uh, winning the first round of the NCAA tournament uh, last year against Marquette, as you spoke about. Um, you know, they haven't given up a goal yet this year. Uh, you know, so they definitely pose a challenge defensively for us. You know, we've been a little more prolific this year than in the past. Uh, so it should be a good matchup, uh, their defense versus our offense going forward. So looking forward to the challenge. And then to add one more thing to Friday, senior day before the game, yep. recognizing the nine members of the senior class. Um, it's obviously going to be very emotional, yep. um, like any other senior day would be. What do you guys have to um, you know, do to make sure that you're ready to go play a very important game right after that right. and try to take something out of it? Yeah, I mean, the, the girls have been here for four years. You know, they, they've been with us. And, you know, they know the expectations. They know, uh, you know, senior night is just another game. You know, they're, they're going to concentrate. They're going to give their best effort. And, you know, the minutes they have, we're going to try to get, uh, you know, all of them on the field uh, during the game. Uh, you know, and they're going to perform. You know, they, they know what's expected and their expectations and our expectations, you know, as a program and as coaches. So they'll be fine. They'll, they'll be relaxed, and they're, they're going to have fun with it. Right. And then looking forward to Sunday, you get to see uh, an old face, Green yeah. Bay, from a Horizon League foe. Uh, different setting, though, Lakeside Field up in Evanston and Northwest here. Yeah. Uh, you know, Obviously, there's still a rivalry there. Yep. Very, uh, not very far removed. What do you guys need to do on Sunday to, um, you know, put a good exclamation point on the weekend? Yeah, I mean, good regional game for us. They're off to a good start. Uh, I believe currently they're three and one. Uh, so, you know, they will they will get our full attention uh, for Sunday. Uh, you know, going forward, we'll, we'll continue to focus on the things that we're doing. You know, getting forward in the attack. You know, trying to tighten things up defensively. So, you know, as, as long as we stick to our game plan, you know, we, we expect the results to come, um, you know, if we do everything correctly. All right. Well, good luck this week. All right. Thank you. Go Steelers. All right. Here's senior Ali Scheimer. Uh, Ali put the ball in the back of the net against Arizona State this past weekend. How did it feel to score against a uh, team of that caliber? Um, it felt really good. Um, it was nice. We, like, had a lot of hard work. Um, it felt nice just to put the ball in the back of the net with only, like, five minutes left to go. So I think it just shows that we're a hardworking team and won't give up until the final whistle. And then this weekend, you guys have a busy one, actually. Western Michigan and Green Bay. Western Michigan is senior day, and you are one of the nine members yeah. of the graduating class. What kind of emotions are you feeling heading into that game? I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling kind of sad. Um, just that our season's like um, almost, not almost coming to an end. We still have a bit to go. But just that I'm a senior and I've been here for four years now. And just like seeing the program change overall has been a really awesome experience. What's it like to also be kind of recognized now as one of like the leaders and someone that's you know laid the groundwork for the future success of Loyola Women's Soccer? Yeah, it feels awesome. Um, this year, um, I've been like captain pretty much for all of our games. So it's been really great just to be able to like be a leader for our team and um, be like someone that people can look up to. That's great. And then kind of looking forward to the actual games. What do you guys have to do this week to be successful? Yeah, so Western Michigan, they're a pretty good team. Um, they're 3-0 and right now, and they also made it to the NCAA last year. So we're going to have our work cut out for us, but I think we're ready and we're just going to go in strong. Yeah. All right, well, thanks for your time. Thank Good you.